Hello dear students, myself Dr. Shrikant Verma, MBBS MD Anatomy, Director Simple Medical Academy. First of all, I am thankful to all the students from every corner of the world, not only the Indian students, but the students from the Pakistan, Nepal, Bangladesh, Russia, Ukraine, China, etc. They are giving beautiful comments and beautiful response to me, which is giving me more and more stimulation to upload the videos. So just like the upper limb video, now we are going to talk about the lower limb. Do you remember the upper limb was divided into the pectoral region, back, scapular region, arm, forearm and the hand. In the same manner, the lower limb is also divided. The lower limb can be divided into the thigh, second one is the leg and third one is the foot. Okay. So yes, we are going to draw these all the images on the board. Okay. So yes, you can see here. <clears throat> Suppose on the waist, this is our bony prominence, which is known as the anterior superior iliac spine. Yes, we are giving the short name to this part. That is the A S I. S. This is the anterior superior iliac spine. Just break the name. Anterior means it is found on the anterior side. Superior because it is above. Iliac. Yes, it is located in the iliac bone. And spine. Yes, it is spine-like process. So this is the one spine-like process found on the ilium bone. So this is the anterior superior iliac spine. It is very most important landmark. What are the other landmark? Yes, suppose here is one another bony projection which is known as the pubic tubercle. We will indicate the pubic tubercle as PT and this is continuing as the one elevation which is known as pubic crest and then it is continuing as the pubic symphysis. So this is the pubic crest we will indicate further as PC and this is the pubic symphysis yes we will indicate this pubic symphysis as ps as you know this pubic symphysis will meet with the opposite side hip bone and it will form the symphysis joint yes for the diagnostic presentation this portion suppose this is the thigh which is continuing as the leg and suppose this is the lateral and medial mammus this is the foot part so this is the great toe and these are the another dose. Okay. So, this is just diagnostic presentation. Yes. Suppose this is the knee joint patella part. Okay. Getting the point. So, see here there is one ligament. Yes. As you know, there is one ligament between the anterior superior iliac spine up to the pubic tubercle. This ligament is known as inguinal ligament. In short, we will indicate the IL. Yes. What is the inguinal? Here is the abdomen. This is the lower limb. The fold between the abdomen and the thigh is known as inguinal region. So there is one ligament situated between the anterior superior iliac spine, ascis, and the pubic tubercle. This is known as inguinal ligament. Yes, we will read. There is the one muscle that is the tensor fascia which will tense this inguinal ligament downside. We will see in abdomen that this inguinal ligament is nothing. This is the extension of the external oblique muscle. Yes, this is the part of the external oblique muscle. The lower free end of the external oblique aponeurosis becomes rounded and it is forming a fold. This fold is known as inguinal ligament which is situated in the inguinal region. So this is the diagrammatic presentation of the lower limb to draw the image for the first year MBBS exam. So, can you see, this is the knee joint. Yes, here is the location of the ankle joint. Okay, suppose, yes, these are the great toes, so we are drawing the nails. Suppose these are the nails. So, what are the parts of the lower limb? How we are going to study the lower limb? We are studying the lower limb into the three, three segments. So what are the three segments? From this hip joint, yes, here is the location of the 
hip joint. So from the hip joint up to the knee joint, this portion is known as thigh first. From the knee joint up to the ankle joint, this part is known as leg and after the ankle joint, this part is known as foot. So yes, these are the three parts of the lower limb under which we are going to study the lower limb part. Okay. So yes, this is the segmentation. This is the way how we can draw the lower limb part for our first year examination. So in the next video, we will see the each part and we will divide the each part into the compartments and we will study properly. So thank you very much. Again, there is one request from my side to spread these all the videos to every corner of the world so that all the students of this world, they can get maximum benefit for the very dry, volatile, difficult, hard subject anatomy. Thank you very much. Subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for notification on our simplified medical and motivational videos.